Hello, I'm Hilary Wyatt, the head of the Lyceum School. I'm terribly sorry we can't show you around the building because it's just an incredible space for the children to be educated in. But I was there over half term and I've made a little video for you to watch. I, I walked around with my mobile phone and just took, um, took a little video. I've tried to use my new iMovie Maker skills to put some music to it. So I'm sorry, it's very amateur. Uh, but I think it gives you a very small flavour of just how big the building is, just how beautiful it is. We've got murals on the walls and a yoga studio, art, science room, basement, dining room with a, a mural of the City of London and our own playground. So it's quite a, a, a beautiful space that um, make, when you walk in every day, I still go, wow, this is amazing. I love it. Um, Obviously, with the new restrictions, um, I can't meet you in person, which is such a shame because they, it's a family school. It's very much everybody knows everybody. In the morning, I greet the children with a handshake and they have to say, Good morning, Mrs. Wyatt. And I say, Good morning, Harry, Annabelle, whatever. Uh, we're doing virtual elbow bumps <laughs> from Monday when we're returning. And it's a very friendly, happy place. And it is for parents who work in the city and we understand that they need um, their children looked after and educated throughout the day. So we have a breakfast club that starts at eight o'clock in the morning and the children can be dropped off then and our clubs go on to a quarter to six. We're also looking at getting holiday provisions as well uh, once the restrictions are lifted. So we understand you need to work, you need your children educated, you need them to have fun and um, you need them to achieve academically, socially and creatively. And I think if you choose the Lyceum School, that's what you get. You get a confident child at the end who's not arrogant, but is flexible, can think out of the box and has this wonderful sense of being themselves, that being unique and special is just fine. They don't have to be like anybody else. So the children, as they leave at the end of the, the um, the school in year six, normally they would do the tours with you and every single open day that we've had, afterwards people have written to us and said, your children are wonderful. Friendly, kind, responsive, high emotional intelligence. That's what we have at the Lyceum and that's what we encourage. So I'm sorry I can't meet you in person. We will be having some uh, a live Zoom session at the end of open morning. Um, We've got some videos for you as an open morning. We've got a few videos. One is my um, little video of the, uh, the building, a little tour. And the others are, we're going to hear from um, some of the other members of staff. And then you can ask us any questions that you like. Rest assured, if you choose the Lyceum, you're going to be coming into a happy, warm, caring environment where every child is looked after and they flourish. So I look forward to seeing you even virtually on Zoom. It, it will be fine next week. And uh, take care and stay safe and see you very soon. Bye. Hello, my name is Miss Lamond. I am head of early years at the Lyceum School and I'm also one of our reception class teachers. Um, here at the Lyceum, we do follow the National Curriculum for Early Years. That means we cover seven different areas of learning and development. They are literacy, math, expressive arts, personal, social and emotional development, physical development, understanding the world and communication and language. For our literacy programme, we teach early reading and writing skills from the minute the children come into our nursery class. We have our own phonics programme that we follow that we have found very effective for children being able to read and write from as young as the nursery age. Mathematics is also taught from the very beginning of the nursery class, um, not only numbers and counting, but math in the wider world, exploring many practical elements of math, such as measure, um, telling the time, we learn our days of the week, etc. And the rest of the curriculum is covered through a topic-based approach, which is continued throughout the whole school. It means that we can plan really exciting play opportunities for the children and really immerse them in their topics each term as they change. Um, at the Lyceum School, because we offer an all-through education, 
we're able to really build relationships with each child from the beginning when they come through the door and follow their unique interests. Um, and for that reason, it means we can really develop a bespoke learning journey for them. It means every child has a chance to learn in their own way. We have really dedicated staff here who are able to get to know the children inside and out. And the benefit of that is we know when to push more for, for more and extend their learning. And we know when to hold back and give them that extra bit of support that they might need sometimes. For me, the most important aspect of a child beginning school is that they feel safe and that they feel happy and really enjoy coming to school. And that is something that I think you can really feel and see for yourself when you come into our early years classrooms. I hope you'll be able to come and visit us soon and see that for yourself. Hi, my name is Sarah Taggart. I'm the Year 6 class teacher and Deputy Head in charge of the pastoral welfare of all of the children at the Lyceum School. Uh, the pastoral welfare is highly important to us. Uh, we believe that if the child is happy, then the academic success will follow suit. Um, and we do all, all sorts of things across the um, school day and embedded into the curriculum to enhance and promote the children's well-being and their happiness. We have four school pillars. Um, these are kindness, creativity, confidence and community. And in everything we do, we try and ensure that those um, four pillars, our values are, um, are utilised and certainly explored. Um, one of the questions that I get asked a lot as the year six teacher is what we do to prepare the children for their exams. Um, there are many, many things that we do. We're not an academic hothouse. Um, we have far more going on than solely focusing on exams, um, but nonetheless, they're still incredibly important and we put a lot of effort uh, and preparation into this for our children. So these start from about year three, um, probably more likely year four uh, and then of course as the children get further closer towards year six um, there is a stronger emphasis on this exam preparation and technique. Um, one of the things that we do uh, is we have booster groups these are for year start in the summer term of year five and then um, in the autumn term of year six pupils are invited to attend before or after school classes um, these can be in English in creative writing or in comprehension or in maths. And these are designed just to give the children a little boost in the right direction, um, perhaps if they're struggling uh, in a particular concept or a particular area um, of the curriculum within those subjects. Um, we also do lots of other things to prepare the children for exams. We have mock e a mock exam week in the autumn term of year six. We have roles of responsibility that all of the children um, apply for and are democratically voted in for. These roles could uh, include being head of sport, um, a house captain, having a prefect role where they look after some of the younger children. Um, it could also involve being the person who's in charge of the school council, um, helping out in the library, etc. And all of these things um, really do help promote the children's confidence um, and their team building skills. One of the other ways that we develop children's team building is that we do lots of um, problem solving together. We go on a sailing day in year six where the children have to really um, use that team, um, team approach to, to solve problems and to work collaboratively. We have mock interviews for the year sixes where they um, prepare for a, a week in their English lessons, thinking about who they are, their strengths and their weaknesses, um, and they bring in artefacts and have a 20 to 25 minute interview with somebody that they have never met before. Written feedback is given um, to both the parents and the pupils as a regular um, feedback on um, mock uh, examination papers. Um, we all the things that we do across the school from a very young age all the way up until uh, year six, we are promoting our children's um, confidence. We're wanting them to be free thinkers. We're wanting them to take risks. We're wanting them to really have that love of learning. Um, and we believe that all of the different opportunities afforded to them really do enable them um, to be strong within and uh, able to go on to the school that is right for them in the future. We are a very, very creative school, um, but this does not come at the expense of our academics. And we really do like to um, balance both our creative cre creativity and our arts alongside our academia. Um, and we would be delighted to come and to have you come and look around at our school uh, and see for yourself. 
the one last thing that I would say is that um, people often ask me about um, the day-to-day -day curriculum at the school. We have adopted what's called a topic-based curriculum and then where possible we link the lessons to um, the particular topic that the children are studying at that time. So each year group across the year will have a science-based topic, a history-based topic and a geography-based topic um, across each of those three terms. And where possible, we go on lots and lots of trips. Um, we really do make the most of our central London location, making sure that we um, get to visit all the museums and the galleries and um, seeing West End shows, taking part in drama activities, etc. Um, and then from year three up to year six, uh, one of the ways that we really do encourage children's independence and confidence is that we take them away um, on residential trips. Starting in year three, their very final term in year six sees them go abroad. We um, do a geography based topic. We compare and contrast London to a European city. Um, previously, the children have been to Paris, to Amsterdam, to Rome, and more recently to Barcelona. Um, while in Barcelona, I took the children on that trip. We were able to um, learn all about Gaudi. They came back, they learned how to mosaic in the style of Gaudi. We learned all about Miro. We have Spanish lessons at school. The children were able to converse in Spanish. Um, during their time uh, in Barcelona. Um, and then other trips such as our history trips, we go away and we really do live our history. So if we're learning about World War II, we go and we live as evacuees for a week. The younger children in year three and four learn about the Victorians, so they go and spend a few days living as Victorians. We've recently come back from a trip where we were living as Tudors for a week. So all of these things, we really, really do um, hope um, you will be inspired and perhaps want to come and take a look around. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Sam Sayers and I'm the head of sport at the Lyceum School. Sport to the Lyceum truly means something. We want the kids to develop a love for all sports um, and a passion for fitness and health because it in this a uh, generation where we've got computer games and everything else, having a love for sport and fitness is a huge, huge thing. And we feel like we help the children to take the steps to build this bond. So the way we do this is by over the year, we practice many, many different sports, such as football, rugby, hockey, cricket, rounders, netball, basketball, swimming, athletics, cross country, gymnastics, dance, you name it, we probably do it. Now, you might be thinking if you've come to the school, where on earth do you do your sports? Because it's quite, you know, there's not really a site for tennis, for example. Well, in turn, we, we um, utilize the brilliant facilities that are around the location that our school is in such as um, Shoreditch Power League to play football, Golden Lane Leisure Centre to do with the tennis courts to play tennis and also uh, swimming, artillery to play rugby. Um, and the, the sides are brilliant and they give us exactly what we need to practice the skills in the sports that we love so much. Um, now, one massive thing that means a lot to me and the school as a whole is that everyone should be equal when it comes to sport. That means that girls and boys, they both, um, com they both practice PE together. We have mixed competitive matches alongside single sex matches. Um, and we just want everyone, no matter who you are, to gain that passion. The way we help that, nurture that even more is by playing many, many external games and fixtures and competitions. For example, this year we've been part of swimming galas, football matches, football, girls football festivals, um, cross country meets. Um, and we feel like they're a really, really successful way of getting to children, you know, not only to practice the skills needed to get brilliant at sport, but also to look forward to sport and to build that passion further. Um, in turn, I'm, you know, I'm really proud to say that this year we have managed to 
um, we have managed to give opportunities to 100% of Key Stage 2 to play competitively. That's right, we've given every single child between year 3 and 6 the opportunity to play against another school competitively. So, you know, whether you think you are good at sport or not, I will make it so you believe in yourself and my team will make that the case as well. Um, on top of all, all the sport we do within the school day, there are lots and lots of clubs um, related, to, related to sport as well, such as gymnastics, ballet, football, multi-sports, which go all the way through school, judo as well, many, many, many sports. Um, you know, finally, one thing I'd like to talk about is at the end of the school year, we celebrate um, our school sporting achievements um, with Sports Day being held at Mile End Stadium, which provides us with fantastic facilities to not only do some really fun sporting activities where each house um, contests against one another, but also um, we there is a, a proper athletics track where the children get to race on and there's a long jump pit as well. And at the end of that, if you are brave enough, there is even a parent-teacher race, which usually goes down the tree. Um, so, so look, I really hope that um, you've enjoyed what you've seen of the Lyceum so far. If you've got any more questions related to sports or anything else, um, then please feel free to let our registrar know and she'll forward your message to me and I can get back to you with any information you need. Anyway, thank you for listening and um, have a wonderful day. Hello everyone, my name's Lauren and I'm the Registrar here at Lyceum. I manage all admissions and general inquiries for the school. So if you have any questions at all regarding your child's registration or you just need further information, then please email me or give me a call using the below contact details. Look forward to hearing from you.